Hello once again, friends. Nice to see you. Great to see you. Always great to see you with Coffee with Pete. So grab your coffee. It's a good hot cup. I just got a fresh cup here. And uh, why don't you grab one too? Open up your Bible to Psalm 149. That's good. Um, Psalm 149. I want to I want to ask you this quick question. Uh, I don't think it'll take long today. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to party with God? <laughs> I think there's a little description here of what what it's like to party with God in Psalm 149. At least part of it. Part of it is uh, is not that, but part of it is certainly that. the The subtitle in my Bible says, "Sing a, Sing to the Lord a new song," and uh, it says this. The first. Uh, five or six verses or so it says this it says praise to praise the lord sing to the lord a new song his praise in the assembly of the godly let israel be glad in his maker and let the children of zion rejoice in their king let them praise his name with dancing making melody to him with tambourine and lyre for the lord takes pleasure in his people he adorns the humble with salvation let the godly exalt in glory let them sing for joy on their beds let the high praises of God be uh, let the high praises of God be in their throats. It, this is really describing this is a, a it, it's like a party, but I want to point out to you that verse four is describing how God joins this party. I mean, so often I think we talk about we come to church and we and we you know we praise him rightfully. I love to praise God. I think it's so good and right to do it. We're instructed and commanded to. And we worship him and we, and we pray to him and we, we sing songs and we hear sermons. But here we have this description in verse 4. It just caught my attention today about how God is joining the party. He's not just sitting back and letting it all happen. He's actually right in the middle of it. Let me read it to you again. It says, For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with salvation. So, a couple things here, just quickly. One is God takes pleasure. He enjoys that moment of interaction. He's enjoying this mutual expression of love. He takes pleasure in his people and he rejoices over them. Uh, he's joining into it. And he's showing his affection. When he says he takes pleasure, he's showing his affection. And it's certainly, this psalm certainly for sure is saying, for those that trust him and that love him, that those that are following him, he enjoys that mutual love. It's coming and going both directions, and God really enjoys that. That's really at the heart of our relationship, is that God wants interaction. He loves it, and and he loves it to, to love us when we're down and out of luck, but he also really loves to join the party. And the second part of that is what God does once he joins the party. Not just sits there and enjoys it, but he adorns the humble. Now, in some translations, it might say the meek. Uh, he adorns the humble with salvation. A couple of the more modern translations might say with victory, but salvation, uh, victory could be implied a little differently. But nevertheless, what he's talking about here, what this psalm is talking about is that those that are meek, those that are humble, those that are of a lowly spirit. And this doesn't mean that they're down in their luck and depressed. Not at all. It just means that if you're humble and meek, it means your confidence is so strong in God. Your faith-filled life is so clearly evident that you're not relying on your own strength, but, but solely on God's. You're, not, you're, you're humble in the sense that you know <clears throat> the things you have, the things that you do, and you're capable of even the very dreams that you dream are coming from God. And so what does he do for those people? In the midst of this mutual love celebration, he adorns them. He, he, might, he puts a robe of righteousness on them, on you. He puts a robe of righteousness on you when you praise and worship him. He gives a beauty to you that you couldn't have accomplished yourself. And that beauty is meant to honor and uplift you to a higher place both in your own <clears throat> in your own sense of self, but also in how others might see you. And so there's a there's a, a beautifulness to this. There's a transformation that comes because you are by His grace receiving His salvation, and His salvation is both a spiritual 
for now salvation, like my life is turned around and it's improving, and also an eternal one. So friends, <laughs> don't, don't wait to go to church to start the party. That's what I guess I'd encourage you today. Take a minute or two, praise God, lift up his name over whatever your situation is, invite him into the party, and receive the adornment of righteousness that comes because by grace you have received his salvation. God bless you today, friends. In Jesus' name, amen.